All right, today we're getting back into the book work. You should have, on Friday, worked on the Ed Puzzle, and I've shared something for you. Uh, Mrs. Erin Zeller has a new Zoom study hall that she's going to run Monday through Thursday. So this is like my Zoom link. It's an assignment. So if you look at Zoom link, there's my Zoom link if you want to Zoom with me. But if you want to Zoom with Mrs. Erin Zeller, um, you can launch her Zoom meeting. And this picture is just a reminder that it's periods 3, 4, 6, and 7. And again, Monday through Thursday that she's available to help you in small groups or one-on-one. -on -one. We're working on chapter eight's book questions. We wanna push the up arrow and open up our slides. We're not open yet, we wanna hit the arrow in the upper right-hand corner, and that'll open up our slides. We should be on slide two today, and there is a page typo there, let's see. This should be This should probably be 186 and 187, but why guess? I'm going to go back and pull up the textbook so I can actually see which page number I didn't update when I made this. All right. So, section 2 starts here. And we have, how's the early earth different from today, and when did the first life appear? That's actually on this page. And so the early earth, this picture is trying to show you, is a terrible place. And so we can see that it's more than just that volcano. There's a lot of really bad things going on. And it was really hard for life to begin, except for most of these bad circumstances were not found in the ocean waters. And so... When did early life first appear? You'll just check and look for the number. Question seven. What did cyanobacteria give to the atmosphere? Well, they gave it something from photosynthesis. But that is not the answer to the second part. How did that allow life to move on land? This picture is trying to show you. And it wasn't so much the breathing. There was something else going on that the addition of oxygen allowed for life to move on land. And so this page really covers that. What organism first colonized land and what kind of plants did not exist yet? So you have to be very careful here because the organism means any living thing. The first animals on land were creepy crawly insects, but they weren't the first thing on land. So you want to read up a little further. And then the types of plants that hadn't made it out yet, you will find. Then we move on. So that was page, what was that? 185. How did the Mesozoic era end? That's what this is about. And so we have some wrong page numbers. So this one should be 186, and this one should be 187, and I apologize for having those page numbers wrong. So how'd the Mesozoic era end? Well, we're going to describe a bad time for dinosaurs, and it's less of a hypothesis now. There's a lot of solid evidence against the end of dinosaurs. Why do scientists know the most about the Cenozoic era? Well, it's our current time period, and that's part of it. And so you're going to find that here as to why we know the most about this time period. The video, the sixth extinction, talks about mass extinctions. So not just the end of the dinosaur time, but there have been five mass extinctions recorded in the fossil record that we can plainly see. And there is an argument that we are headed into the six mass extinctions. So that video is linked, if you want to go a little further and a little deeper, it's the second video link on this page. That should do it. Again, I'm zooming at normal class period times. If you can't zoom, email if you have a question, and please remember to fix these two numbers for questions 9 and 10. Page 186 for question 9 and page 187 for question 10. Uh, do your best, and the marking period ends Wednesday, and I'm doing my best to, to catch up on grading 
on older assignments, but these chapter eight questions will go on the third marking period.